Hey guys, it's Dana, and today we're going to do a gnome DIY. This is a $5 project. You'll get everything at the Dollar Tree or anywhere you can find it for this little bit of money, and we're gonna put it together. I have found the easiest, shortest, quickest path to creating a gnome, and they're adorable. And even if you aren't a gnome fan, I have the feeling that by the time you make this and see it, you're not going to want to give it away. But this is an easy DIY craft, and you should be going out to the store the Dollar Tree this weekend and grabbing the supplies before everybody gets them before you do. So here we go. And uh, make sure to give me a like if you like this simple craft. Okay, so what do you need to make the DIY? A multi-purpose bandana at the Dollar Tree. Okay, it was $1.25. I grabbed this adorable little Santa hat. I could have grabbed any Santa hat. I grabbed this bucket. They have plenty of them at the front. We're going to invert it anyway. And then I took a mop piece, as you saw. This, but if you have yarn, you can use yarn. And you're going to need a nose. So I'm just going to use a gold bulb. I'm not going to paint this or anything. We're just going to use it as a nose. Okay, so what I'm doing is making the beard. As I showed you, I had a mop, and I made a couple of these already, so but I wanted you to be able to see. So I tie it like this, that's it. So all I'm going to do is tie these in batches. And the reason I'm not using it is a whole piece, which I, you know, you could probably have put this up here and just drilled a hole and let it trip down. First, I don't think it's going to be long enough. Well, I know it's not because I made a few of these. So I'm just going to make a couple groups of these, tie them off, and I'll show you how to attach them. Whoops, went right with that. And I will use the whole entire piece um, of the mop and you know just add different amounts to each different cluster. There's no set pattern on doing this because obviously you know you might have more or less pieces as you go along and that's all good. So um, you'll just see I'm going to finish this. Okay, so we don't want this buckle showing and we need this to have material on it. I do have a glue gun ready to go if I need it, but I happen to know that when you slide this on over here, this is like one of those gator things. I just bought it at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to bring it up under here and let just let it do its thing. I'm not going to have to do too much to this. Um, <laughs> I mean, why bother, right? So I just did it like that. And up here, I will probably put a little bit of the glue gun so we can fasten it and close it. I'm not gonna have to mess with it down here. It closed itself, so it looks good, right? All right, so let's get this thing gunned with the glue, or glued with the gun. That's it, I mean, that's that easy, covering this with material, it's a perfect fit. Okay, so I'm just gonna start putting this down and just put a bunch of glue down and it's going to hold. I mean, that's not a problem. Just make sure you get the corner here. You can see one's longer and one's shorter and I'm just gonna continue along here and do that all the way through. I wanna show you, I'm filling this with batting. I had this left over from another craft you could use plastic bags, paper towels, towels. You could use anything that you want just so this you stuff it so it sits on top of the gnome. So I'm just going to finish stuffing this and I didn't want to jump ahead without you seeing. And pretty much that's it. Okay, I wanna give you a little trick too because this might be too tight when it's up here. Just so you know, I took a little snip off the back. You can always fix it, but nobody's gonna see that part so that when we have this all situated, I'm able to make sure that this drapes over that little bit of rope that I have and I'll just glue this down and I mean, it's going to stay. It's perfect like this. This is what this looks like covered at this point. Okay, don't worry about, I mean, my collars here you will not see. Here's the back. Here's the bottom, here's where we are. I'm going to glue this on, then we're gonna put a nose and we're done. I'm just adjusting it so that everything's covered here. So there's your little gnome guy right now. So I'm gonna put his nose, I'm probably gonna go right about there. All right, 
right guys, so we finished. This is what it looks like. This is my little gnome. I gave it a few little bit of layering. Um, I gave it a little bit of a shave maybe. I hope you run to the Dollar Tree and get the products because you know as long as they're there, they're going to be gone very shortly. So get any kind of hat. It doesn't matter the scarf, but these gaiters were easy. I didn't have to do any cutting, snipping. I just had to glue, throw it over this, and they fit perfectly over the Santa bucket as you can see. So a whole five dollars and we have a Christmas gnome. So if you have to gift to anybody that needs gnomes, this is the project to do. Five dollars, put a bow on it, enjoy it. Hope you do this DIY this weekend and you get the supplies while they still are in the store.